New Jersey, weighing 173, in blue trunks with white trim, the Jewish bomber, Mike Rosma. The champion of the world, weighing in tonight at 175 pounds, from Argentina, in red trunks with white trim, Victor Galinda. Victor Galinda. So the introductions of the two fighters. Galinda, as I was telling you, and you saw it in the up close and personal, changed his style sharply, abruptly, after getting that savage butt in the Cates fight. And he turned into a counterpuncher, a cautious fighter. He's not new to us. Chris Shanklin and I had him back in May of 75 on the undercard to Ali against Ron Lyle and we could notice the drastic change in his style. But now he says he's going to be aggressive. He's going to go back to the brawling aggressive style that was originally his. Remember, condition the trademark of the fighters. Here's Chris Schenkel with the call. Round one, schedule 15 here at the Superdome. In the blue trunks, the longest we've seen since Archie Moore, a light heavyweight champion, Mike Rossman. In blue with a white stripe, and the champion is Victor Galindez in right. Shorter by two inches, the reach is about the same. Galindez, with his back to us, had trouble making the 175-pound limit, but he is tough. Huge torso. Very careful, and he looks like a predator as he moves around the ring here. And you saw Mike Rossman coming around now on the right side of the ring, and the up-close and personal, who abandons his defense, and against Galindez, he better not do it. It's a 10-point must scoring system. WBA rules, three foreign officials, two judges and a referee, and Jimmy DiPiano, who is Rossman's dad, was very upset that foreign officials were judging this fight. A very stiff left jab by Mike Rossman. He's a six-footer from Turnersville, New Jersey, nearby Philadelphia. Hoping to bring the title back after the retirement of Bob Foster, United States boxer, of course, and that's how Galindis against Lynn Hutchins won the light heavyweight champion almost uh, four years ago. Round one, the referee, Carlos Baracal of Panama. And this is very cautious. This is that probing first round that sometimes uh, upsets fans, but smart boxers do it. Mike Rossman, who tried with a low uppercut in the blue trunks on the right, has never been floored, has never been cut. Whereas Galindez, the champion from Argentina, uh, has a history of cuts and a heavy bleeder. A good left hook. Glanced a bit off the Duke of Galindez, but Rossman scoring with it, trying to flick out with a left jab. Another one, finding the mark in the nose of the champion. Round is about half over before some 60,000 fans are record gate. Very short with that right hand hook. Fairly decent body punch by Galindas in the red trunks, the champion. round in about 20 seconds here at the Superdome in New Orleans. Wenders in his last title defense in May in Milan. WBA light heavyweight champion Victor Glenzis is 5 feet 10 inches tall. Rossman on the far side, the blue trunks, is at even 6 feet with a 73-inch reach. If you just joined us, it was a probing first round. We called it an even round in the 10-point must. In other words, if you're scoring with us, you'd give each fighter 10 points. But if a fighter wins a round, it's 10 and then less, as Galindis now is trying to pile up some points here before the two judges and the referee. This is the prelude to the 15-round heavyweight championship fight. Leon Spinks defending it for the first time against Muhammad Ali. Rossman sticking to his plan, being more of a classic type fighter instead of a brawler. Very upright, keeping uh, both hands up high, not to get caught by Galenzis. Those are good left jabs. And 
most left jabs can not only be an offense, but a defensive well, keeping the opponent off balance. There no knockdowns. Neither fighter marked at this point. Third appearance in the United States for Galendez. Galendez has gone 15 rounds nine times. The veteran with 62 bouts, 52 wins, 29 knockouts. Whereas Rossman in the blue trunks on the right who keeps trying to get that jab and it's working has 41 bouts, 34 victories, 21 knockouts. Very nice combination. A little light left to the body and then a right to a chin. Right hook thrown by the Argentinian. In close. Good combination by the champion against the ropes. They're very, very short hooking punches. Beautiful left hook by Rossman. It may have been blocked from your view as the champion had his back to us. He caught him. There's that strong left jab right on the nose. And doubling up with the left hook, Rossman from Turnersville, New Jersey. Right hand lead over the left of Galendez, who comes back with two left hooks and a right hand and another left hook. Round two. We have 30 seconds remaining in the second round. by 20 ring as we move into round three of the light heavyweight championship. Galindas in the red trunks on the right, shorter, and the challenger on the left from Turnersville, New Jersey. That is Mike Rossman. And scoring the bout, 10-point must. After two rounds, we have it pretty close, almost even. Both scoring heavily, both to the body and head in the second round. Rossman, who in the past has enjoyed counter-punching, is Occasionally trying to uh, take, make an attempt at leading. But mainly with that left jab, keeping his opponent off balance. Good body fainting by the 22-year-old light heavyweight challenger. That left hook missed to the body by Galindas, the champ. A beautiful right hand lead. Galindas was snapping away from it. There's a mouse now forming under the right eye of the champion on the far side of this 20-foot square ring. That can cause trouble. A swollen area can easily split. And he has a history of cutting. Melinda's having trouble with the range, and when he does get inside, Rossman has a super defense with those two dukes held up high. But he did get it at right hand over the left of Rossman. Rossman shaken up perhaps with that shot. Melinda sensing it now, trying to go to work. The referee breaking them up. That's Carlos Baracal of Panama doing a good job. There's a minute remaining in the third round, scheduled for 15. There are already knockout punches. They'll come from long range on the part of Rossman on the left, whereas Galindas has to get inside. Looping right hand, another left, and Mike Rossman has got to be a little more careful. And a feint with a right hand and a left hook for the champion. Beautiful combination. And watching here in the dressing room, the man that's trying to gain the title for the fourth time, Muhammad Ali, watching this on television as you are. Now the referee from Panama, Markaral, says keep the punches up. I did not see a low end. Rossman with his back to us. Weighed 173 pounds, two pounds short of the limit. 
Melinda's not throwing right hands at all. He is a hooker from the Argentine. Howard, he is tough. He had a big third round. He showed his superior up of strength. The right caught Rossman early in the round, and Rossman was hurt. In the second round, Rossman had a good round. The left, as you described it, the left jab stiff and connecting. But Rossman knows now the quality of the opponent. There is Muhammad Ali, together with the famed country singer, Johnny Cash. And I must say, Ali looks very relaxed in. there. In the meantime, let's go over and take a look at Leon Spinks right there. And certainly, he shows no sign of tension, at least facially. Now let's get back to Chris Schenkel and Melendez against Ross. And the light heavyweight division has always been one of the most international of the divisions. For instance, 21 Americans have won championships out of 26 in the heavyweight division, whereas in the light heavyweight, only 13. And Rossman is trying to bring it back. Galindas, on the left, has held the title for four years. He's an unorthodox fighter. Does a beautiful job feinting with a right hand and then throwing a looping left hook. opponent that was Lopez the champion made a 15 round decision whereas Rossman being tagged by the champion and fighting back now the fight was stopped by his father his manager between rounds sit here quietly and watch this? Yes, I'm uh, watching these two fellows. This Glendez, I'm surprised that he's not done as good as I thought he would. And you can actually sit here with what's coming up ahead of you and watch this fight? Well, I'm used to it. I'm naturally nervous, but with people like my man Johnny Cash right here coming to see me, it gives me a lot of inspiration. Waylon Jennings in here, you've got quite, quite a group. Thank you. Good luck out there tonight. This lights on Ellie came by and Chris Christopherson and and then John Travolta sitting over there. John, quick, come here, come here. I want y'all to just look at John Travolta. Give us a quick step, John. Say hello there, buddy, John. Well, John Travolta. So you know I got a heck of a corner tonight. 
Liza, quick, okay, quick, come here, Liza, quick. Okay, we got to go back. Here's Liza. How you can sit here, I don't know. Let's go back to Chris. We are ready now. I got a team in here. Well, I hope we can book a concert with that talent. Johnny Cash is already at a concert in the Super Bowl. And I'll tell you, Mohammed, John Travolta may be almost as good looking as you are. All right, now we move in to the fifth round of the scheduled 15-round light heavyweight bout. No knockdowns. Both fighters have absorbed repeated heavy punches. That's Mike Rossman, the challenger, 22 years old, from Turnersville, New Jersey, about 40 miles from Atlantic City, in those long blue velvet trunks. Galinda Shorter in the red trunks, the champion. His 11th defense. Again, good scoring, looping punches by the champion. He is wearing the middle now, going to the body and head of Rossman. Remember, Rossman has never been down. But fighting back. Youth will be a liability. <laughs> Surprise Rossman doesn't get away from the ropes. Can hardly do it now because he's pinned there. The referee should, should move in and get him off the ropes. Although they are punching three hands. Ooh, there was a rabbit punch. Unseen for the referee. for the Mississippi, the wharf area, and this is a pure brawl in the fifth round. A minute and a half to go in this fifth. They keep punching away like that, and Galinda's leaning on the challenger. They will be very tired light heavyweights as we move along. until one minute from now. Tremendous looping, hooking punches. Uppercut by Galindas, the champion, now against the ropes. Rossman finally got away from it. Good left jab, and Galindas countering back. Rossman may be suckered into the brawling style of fighting that Galindas likes. 30 seconds to the bell, the fifth round. That left hook, looping, missed by about an inch. Again, Rossman becoming more upright, more classic, keeping that left hand high, but in waves the Argentinian. The first great one out of Argentina, of course, Luis Angel Purpo. That was a glancing left hook. So, while they rest after that action back fifth round, let's go to Leon Spinks dressing room with Frank Gifford. And Leon with his uh, nephew, Charlie. Leon, you sit here just as quiet as Ali is watching another fight. What's going through your mind, though? Nothing. It won't let me going through my mind through the time for me and Ali stepping in that ring. You ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. If, if I'm not, I'm in a world of trouble. Are yeah, you a little surprised the way this fight's going now? Yeah, I expect to go, I expect it to go a lot quicker, but you know, man can show the state, I mean, show the world just like I did. I'll tell you something, I am amazed at both you and Ali, how quiet and calm you are. I want to wish you the very best. Thank you. Okay, good luck, Leon. Okay, let's go back now to Chris Schenkel. Okay, Howard Cassell and I here at ringside, and I mean we're right in the corner of Mike Rossman. And Howard, I think you're probably surprised with a brawling style that they've allowed themselves to fall into. Not on Galindez's part, like other Argentine fighters, especially Monzon, he knows how to use the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, and that's where he's going to hurt Rossman. Mike Rossman, six feet tall, 173 pounds. Melinda's having to shed six-tenths of a pound to make the 175-pound limit today. Had to weigh in twice over a period of about an hour and a half. It shouldn't have sapped any of the strength because both these light heavyweights worked extremely hard the last few weeks. They have fought this year. Melinda's has four bouts under his belt here in 1978. The last July 8th, a knockout over Paulino. This is the fourth bout for Rossman trying to get that jab in. His last was a second round knockout over Matt Ross in Atlantic City. Missing with the right, but landing with the left jab. Those jabs 
that's being blocked by the, the right hand glove of Galindas, the champion. Pace was fast in the fifth. Now electing to slow it up a bit, wisely so. Good right hand lead, right on the chin, and down go the hands of Galindas. Right above us now. Thus far, we've had a very timid referee. He's Carlos Caracol of Panama. And a good left hook, a glancing blow, but it took its toll. Belinda senses that he really hurt Rossman. Well, I have to say, no wonder Rossman has never been down. He can take a walk. Those are rough punches by the Argentinian. And they're in the very same corner against the ropes, and that Belinda's using that torso like a football player. He is vicious. And the last minute now, round six. A little blood now coming from a cut over the right hand. Eye of Galindas in the red trunks with his back to us. Now we're getting a lot of blood from that cut over the right eye of Galindas, the champion. It's on the left as you look. seconds remaining in the sixth round and they'll have to do some patchwork on Galindis's right eye between round six and seven here at the Superdome. <laughs> Manager Tito Lectore from Argentina along with his cut man Roberto Galindis worked over Victor's eye in that in between round six and seven. Patched it up now as Rossman in the blue trunks has been some kind of fight to score the 10 point must. Howard on the 10 point must system how are you scoring it? I have Galindez slightly ahead but Rossman's battle plan is now working. He said he was going to go for the eyes. It's a brutal sport directly so but that's the way it is. And there he was doing just that with his two hot peppery left jabs. Another one. And the cut has been reopened once more. Dr. Anthony Italiano of the Louisiana State Athletic Commission, of course, looking on. Nothing serious enough to call him into the ring. Coming up, a heavyweight championship fight. Leon Spinks in his first title defense against the great Muhammad Ali, scheduled for 15 rounds. You can see the blood. Over that right eye of Galindas on the far side. Halfway point of the seventh round, a sneaky right hand catching Rossman. Not a solid punch. Notice Rossman keeping uh, both gloves up high. Trying to get the jab and work on that right eye. Good countering by the champion, Columbus. The referee, Carlos Baracal of Panama. We're in the final minute now. He just joined us in the featherweight championship fight. Danny Little Red Lopez won on the knockout. 45 seconds in the second round over Al Alvarez, stablemate of Galindas. After being knocked down in the first round by the Argentinian. 30 seconds, round seven. Galindas throws punches that come from all angles. You get a good shot as the ABC cameraman are really in on them. Very 
see the big torso on the right of the champion Victor Galindis, light heavyweight champ, the last four years against 22-year-old Mike Rossman in the blue trunks. There have been no knockdowns. Galindis in the red trunks cut over the right eye in the fifth round. It was reopened in the last round. And uh, peppering away with the long left jabs, very straight in nature, is Mike Rossman. Big fists, both fighters. Galindis, fists measuring 14 and a half inside those eight ounce gloves, which has been used for all of our bouts, including the scheduled 15 round heavyweight bout, Sphinx Ali coming up. A solid short right hand by Rossman in blue. This is the eighth round. It's amazing how the fight card and mainly Muhammad Ali have brought 60,000 or more people to the Superdome. In more than 30 countries. He is the champion of the masses waiting in the dressing room for his hopes of getting the title back for the fourth time. Just looking at one another. We're in the second half of these three minute rounds at the Superdome. Referee from Panama and earlier. Jorge Lujan of Panama successfully defended his Bantamweight Championship against Alberto Davila. 15 round unanimous decision. Ooh, a right hand lead and finding its mark. Two left hooks and then a left hook by the champion to the body of Rossman. Believe me, this is a tough, light, heavyweight fight. <laughs> Love the bell in 10 seconds. Amazingly, Rossman throwing those punches off the ropes with the champion in tight. heavyweight championship bout here at the Superdome. There have been no knockdown. Galinda's the champion. And the red trunks cut over the right eye in the fifth round. It's been reopened twice, but his cut cornermen have done an excellent job at keeping it under control. Rossman trying to land to the head as much as possible. Mixes up his punches to the body of both fighters. The left hook was very effective. The right hand was a little short, thrown by Rossman. Rossman from the Philadelphia area, where there have been four light heavyweight champions of the world. Leading Harold Johnson, Tommy Lockwood. Those are a little touchy left jabs. The champion allowed him to land. Two bangers. Cut slightly reopened over Glenda's eye. Now pulling up his uh, his his trunks. I'd like to alert our stations that at the end of this round we'll be cutting away for a station break. Minute and a half to go, round nine. Dark, deep set eyes. A little, little blood trickling down on the over the right and near the bridge of his nose. At the moment it looks a lot worse than it is. I'd like 
freshman. He should have used as a advantage. Seems to be pacing himself here in the ninth round. Still that menacing left jab. Defenseless. His knees are still wobbly, but look at him fight back. We'll have more championship boxing from the Superdome in New Orleans after this from our local station. One of the scheduled 15 rounder. Now, Mike Rossman has a great opportunity here tonight, ranked sixth in the World Boxing Association, peppering with the left jabs, the left hook from the champion Galindas to return the title to the United States. And he really shook up the champion in that last round with a solid left hook, follow up with a right. The cut again reopened over the right eye, Galindas. Two minutes to go, round 10. Mike Rossman in the blue has never gone 15 rounds. He has gone 10 rounds 12 times. We're in round 10. Three solid punches for him close. Now the cut is really opened over the right eye. You see the time at the right-hand corner of your screen. Coming up to the minute 15 mark of round 10. doesn't break them up they'll just stay there against the ropes and do what they're doing the referee from Panama uh -oh, spinning. And I don't blame Rossman because it's a referee's fault for not breaking them up 15 seconds we'll hear the bell for the 10th round so the situation is reserved. Now it's Galindas against the ropes. Now back out where there's more breathing room and punching room. Galindas looking, to, beginning to tire now here in the tenth round, becoming very lackadaisical. So while they take that minute rest, let's rejoin Frank Gifford. Thank you, Chris, and one of the celebrated and very familiar in the audience tonight, Lauren Green. Uh, great talent. Oh, you're enjoying this fight, Lauren. What a surprise. This is a very big surprise, isn't it? Because uh, they, they figured, what, three, four rounds? So they hit that Mike Rossman at last? Well, they talk that way. Uh, you have a surprise coming Sunday night, I understand. Yes, I hope it is a, a very pleasant surprise for all our viewing audience. Battlestar Galactica starting Sunday nights at 8 o'clock. And the first show is a three-hour show from 8 to 11. You've done everything. Shakespeare, uh, Bonanza, of course, remember that. Are you enjoying this? I'm enjoying this. This is so different. And you know what outer space is really like? No, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> well, well, you, you might. It's, it's in your like, show, yeah, that's about it. No, no but it's, outer space is like a little like Dolly Parton. I mean, you don't believe it, but there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the fight. It's a beauty. Okay, Chris. Okay, there are a lot of heavyweights like Lauren Green watching along with some 60,000 here in the Superdome and all of you. That's Victor Galenzen, who seemed to tire in that 10th round. You see the Vaseline, the coagulant over the cut over his right eye. Mike Rossman has what a golden opportunity. And Galenzen's 
will have to be less like a days ago and come to Rossman because we can see the confidence building in this 22 year old light heavyweight. Mm. Beautiful left jabs Howard by Rossman and Blue. And combination punches almost landing at will. We're in the 11th round scheduled for 15. And now the blood in the coagulant causing a vision problem I'm sure for the champion in red. But he landed a solid right hand to Rossman's jaw in that infighting. Glancing blow. Hard that's just a tough looking cut over the right eye now of Galindas. champion against the ropes is 29 years old. 11th title defense. First shot at him, Rossman pinning him there. Meanwhile, Barakal, the referee, keeps circling. I suppose that great heavyweight fight in 1892 between Corbett and Sullivan was a little bit like this, Howard, just a brawl. 21 rounds. Have about a minute remaining in the 11th round. New Orleans, the scene of championship fights in every division of boxing since 1892, Corbett and Sullivan. And New Orleans itself has had its own champions. Pete Herman, Tony Canzanero, light heavyweight Willie Castrano, who is a member of Ali's family now. Thirty seconds, and they'll get another much needed rest. Now Galendez is looking for the referee to come on in and Break this up. They're both anxious. Now Rossman is really peppering the head of the champion. Tremendous bout. And let me tell you, a contrast in styles. That's one of the um, ingredients that makes great action. And this is the scheduled 15 round live heavyweight championship bout. The champion is Galindas in the red trunks who has taken the worst of it the last four or five rounds. And 22-year-old Mike Rossman senses an opportunity for an upset and a light heavyweight championship, Howard. He has fought a controlled fight for a 22-year-old. It's been a thing of beauty. He's kept to his battle plan. In the recent rounds, he is out-muscling and out-balling Galindas. But even there, as he scored with a combination, remembering Galindas's history in the late rounds, he must be careful because Galindas is an amazing counterpuncher off the ropes. And that's the way he has won a number of his fights. The Argentinian. Two minutes remaining in round 12. A good left hook by Galindas. Five feet, ten inches tall. Rossman looks more than two inches taller. That's a little age. Slim Jim Robinson, his trainer, and Eddie Aliano and Rossman's dad did a good job training Rossman, setting up that strategy to try to win the light heavyweight championship. There was a beautiful left hook landed by Galindez. But remember, Rossman has never been down. He has never gone 15 rounds, but he's in the 12th now. Unmarked. And just surprising Galindas the champion. Coming up to the one minute mark of the 12th round. More blood from over the right eye of Galindas. Who now may be fainting weariness in order to lull Rossman. But not Rossman. He punches right back. Infuriated now is Galindas who may be cut over the left eye as well. Yes he is. There have been some 
accidental butting. And the referee refuses to break them up. Look at that head hunting. 30 seconds remaining in round 12. But remember Galindez in the Cates fight suffered that terrible butt over the eye. Galindez is now in point of fact a desperate fighter. The eyes are in terrible condition. Rossman is measuring him. There's no counter punching off the ropes. Galindez, Chris, is just trying to cover up. Ten seconds to go and his cornerman will have to do a patch up work like they haven't had to do. His manager, Tito Le Couture, is ready to come flying in there. And a good right hand, and the champion is rumbling back to his corner. Had to be helped down. He is almost out of his feet. That was the end of round 12, Howard, and it's one of the toughest light heavyweight bouts we've ever seen. It is a brutal fight. It is, in plain words, a war. And to watch Mike Rossman, 22 years of age, in such magnificent condition, adhere so closely to his fight plan and to have so completely controlled himself, never getting wild, he is in clear command in this fight and on the verge of becoming the champion. Howard, to fight you'll be covering the great heavyweight fight. Do you expect a tough one like this, Sphinx and Ali? It's so hard to tell. I said Ali is at once the magnet and the mystery. I don't know how much he's got left. He has shown so little over the last two to three years. But tonight, he has to put it all together if he's to win. All right, now the light heavyweight champion of the world at the far corner has to muster, has to pull a lot of things together to save his title, which he's had for four years as we're in the 13th round now. And listen to this crowd, a huge crowd of the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Blood again coming down the right side and down the nose of Galindez. There have been no knockdowns. Vicious, brawling, pier tough. The referee can be folded from time to time. He's from Panama. But what you're seeing is just a brawl. And there should be more of what he's doing right now. The limb is wobbly, short leg, heavy torso. And Rossman keeps punching away. He is rubbery leg. Galindez is. He is a beat. Oh, now there it is. We have a new leg heavyweight champion. And Galinda says yes. Galinda says that's right. The fight should have been stopped. What a light heavyweight champion who now has lost it. Admitting that he was outclassed, outpunched, came over immediately. And that is great sportsmanship. And a prime 22-year-old Mike Rossman called the Jewish bomber, hugged by his dad. Rossman taking his mother's maiden name and look at his father. So the light heavyweight championship comes back to the United States in the 13th round. It's been an absence of four years when Bob Foster retired in 1974. And then Galindis won it against Lynn Hutchins, a Detroit fighter. Let's go to Howard Cosell. Howard. All right. You've just seen a remarkable light heavyweight fight. You've seen a new champion, and it was a beautifully controlled Thank fight. You. My congratulations to you. Thank you. You followed your plan from beginning exactly. to end. Exactly. Because I said if he was going to come to me, I was going to sidestep, just kind of punch all night, and oh. started to lay on the roof. So I said, well, I go get him now.